All through history, a ruthless campaign has been waged against all messengers and true believers. All unbelievers and idolaters that have ever lived have opposed the true faith preached by messengers, imagining that this would harm their own interests. This is a method employed by unbelievers for the same purpose over hundreds of years. We are told in the Quran that all the messengers who have preached the true faith have been the subject of such false accusations as self-interest, madness, pride, and sorcery. Our Prophet peace be upon him also says in the Hadiths that all the messengers after him will be exposed to various troubles and slanders for preaching the true faith sent by Allah. Allah says that the state of affairs set out in the Quran is his law. He tells us that all Muslims may be tested by similar difficulties, slanders and persecution. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. You will be tested in your wealth and in yourselves, and you will hear many abusive words from those given the book before you, and from those who are idolaters. But if you are steadfast and guard against evil, that is the most resolute course to take. But again, under the law of Allah, every trap set for the believers has been thwarted right from the outset and every false accusation has been created to be exposed as hollow. Allah tells us in the Quran that these initiatives taken by unbelievers will always end in favor of believers. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When those who are unbelievers were plotting against you to imprison you or kill you or expel you, they were plotting and Allah was plotting. But Allah is the best of plotters. Allah will defend those who believe. Allah does not love any thankless traitor. That is your reward. Allah always confounds the schemes of the disbelievers. The state of affairs that has persisted throughout the course of history will of course also apply to Hazrat Mahdi and his community. However, every step taken with the intention of harming Hazrat Mahdi will actually turn out in his favor. All measures taken to oppose Hazrat Mahdi will lead to him being better known across the world, to his virtues becoming even clearer, and to him enjoying ever greater success. Because the period involved is the end times, the negative forces opposed to Hazamati al Islam will wage the most ruthless struggle in history against him. Allah has created unbelievers along with believers in all periods of history, and unbelievers have always waged a ruthless struggle against believers. Under the law of Allah, communities of believers have always been small in number, while unbelievers as required by the test, have always constituted the majority. Again, under the law of Allah, the community of Azamahdi Islam in the end times will number some 300 people, and with these few individuals, he will strive to bring about the global dominion of the moral values of Islam. The effectiveness of the campaign that a religion will wage against Azamahdi Islam can better be seen when considering the fact that by the use of technology, the impact of both visual and written media, and also the means of communication such as the internet and satellites, have reached their most advanced points in the end times in which we are living. Mr. Adnan Akhtar gave an example of the impact of the negative forces opposed to the system of the Mahdi in an interview. The system of the Mahdi will encounter intense incidents that have never been seen in the world before. It will confront things that have never been seen in the history of the world. That is because, in the time of the Prophets, they used to produce corruption in only one region. For instance, in a city of perhaps 100,000 people, or 50,000, or in a population of 1 million. But now they produce corruption in a population of 7 billion. There are billions of deviant people against the system of the Mahdi. It is in such a climate that Hazrat Mahdi will begin work, and he will wage his struggle under those conditions. 
unbelievers, hypocrites, who leave Hazamahdi community, idolaters who emerge from among Muslims and attack Hazamahdi and materialists, atheists, and Darwinists representing a religion will all join forces against the system of the Mahdi and use all the technological and communications means at their disposal to work against him. During the time of Azamahdi an Islam, there will therefore be a harsh and intense climate of struggle made incomparably greater than those in any society that ever existed before with the means possessed by the deniers. However, as Allah promised some 1,400 years ago, Azamahdi and his few followers will overcome all these unbelieving societies. Because of the intensity of the irreligion in the end times, Azamahdi will initially wage his intellectual struggle in secret. Our Prophet peace be upon him has revealed in the Hadiths that Hazamahdi will carry out his activities in secret in the early period when people have not yet recognized him. One of the main reasons for this is that the period that Hazamahdi will emerge into is one in which the effects of irreligion and moral degeneration will reach the most serious dimensions. Hazamahdi will not appear and will not be recognized by people at a most harsh time when unbelievers harbor an intense enmity toward believers and religious moral values and work against them both openly and in secret. This is how the Hadith say that Hazamahdi will perform his early activities in secret. At night he will be engaged in worship while he will be hidden during the day. From Naj al Balagha, the Lord of the Believers, peace be upon him, said, When he hides away from people, not even trackers will be able to see any trace of him. Hazrat Mahdi will not appear in society during this time. He will meet with only a very few people. Hazrat Mahdi will certainly retire into occultation and turn away from the public during that occultation. Hazrat Hussain B. Ali salam, says, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will disappear from sight for a time. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, remaining secret and unrecognized at such a time will by Allah's leave be instrumental in him being protected from attacks by unbelievers and allowing him to work more easily. But Allah will hide him as a Mahdi an -Islam from people against the oppression, cruelty and waste of people's earthly desires. His having few people alongside him and being opposed by the majority will make Hazamahdi's an -Islam struggle even more valuable. They consist of a group including women of 314 people. They will overcome all tyrants. Their hearts are like iron and they are lions by day and devout believers by night. Neither those before nor after them can match them in self-sacrifice. It is narrated from Muhammad ibn Hanafi that their numbers are those of the people of Badr in the same way that those who went before could not surpass them. Those who come after will not be able to catch them. Their numbers are the number of those who cross the river with Saul. It is a requirement of the law of Allah revealed in the Quran that the number of Hazamahdi's Islam supporters and helpers should be very small. This has been the same in the communities of believers that have ever existed. It is revealed in the Quran that the number of true believers around the prophets has always been small. For example, only a very few of the young people in his community had faith in the Prophet Moses I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. 
No one believed in Moses except for a few of his people, out of fear that Pharaoh and the elders would persecute them. One verse reveals that Pharaoh said this of the small number of people who believed in the prophet Moses salam. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. These people are a small group. Another verse reveals how the number of people believing in the prophet Noah salam, was also very small. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. But those who believed with him were only few. We are also told in the Quran that few people believed in the Prophet Lot when a terrible disaster struck his people. Allah saved only those family members who believed in the Prophet Lot and even excluding his own wife. We are told that only a few disciples and nobody else believed in the Prophet Jesus It is also revealed in the Quran that the numbers of those known as the people of the cave were also very small. Throughout the course of history, people have preferred to keep their distance from true believers, exposed to false allegations and smear campaigns. This is of course a grave error on the part of these people, but because of that error a great many people will also refuse to follow Hazrat Mahdi al-Islam, out of a fear of the kind of pressure and difficulties they may face and they will distance themselves from his community. It is most surprising that the number of people who have faith in such a person who calls on others to believe in Allah and perform such great services for the religion will be few in number. Since Hazrat Mahdi is someone whose devotion to Allah, purity and superior virtues are very striking and who will perform many services of great benefit to Muslims, one would expect a great many people to gather around such a virtuous person whose moral values are compared to those of our Prophet peace be upon him, who heeds only the approval of Allah and who performs sincere work for people's happiness in this world and the hereafter. One would expect every Muslim who sees such a person's virtues and good works would want to be alongside and support him. The fact that the number of people supporting Hazrat Mahdi is very small, despite all this, is most thought-provoking. It means that although the people in the society in which Hazrat Mahdi lives and sees his superior virtues and the auspicious work he performs, they will still keep their distance from him because of the pressure of a religion and out of calculations of self-interest. The state of affairs which will arise as a result of the law of Allah will actually make Hazrat Mahdi's struggle even more valuable. Allah will be victorious over a great many communities to Hazrat Mahdi and his small number of followers. The fact that Hazrat Mahdi wages his struggle under very difficult conditions and with the help of very few people but still achieves the global dominion of Islam, will bestow upon him superiority in both this world and in the hereafter. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. How many a small force has triumphed over a much greater one by Allah's permission? Allah is with the steadfast.